What is going on guys and girls? Welcome back to CK2 Holy Fury and King Olaf the Third, King of Norway and England. We've just been crowned by Pope Leo the Tenth after we have defeated the Holy Roman Empire in a great war and deposed the anti-pope. And now we're currently returning our troops back home uh, so they can get their well-deserved rest. However, before we actually get into the game in today's episode, there's one thing I want to mention, and that is that I have made some adjustments to the save file. In particular, I've changed one game rule. Let me see if I can find this one quickly. I have made a change to the Provincial Revolt Strength. So I, I had this on very powerful, making their armies at uh, four times as numerous as the default level. I've, you know, scaled this down to powerful because uh, Aquitaine over here was actually, like this dude, is a liberator. So this was a peasant revolt sort of thing that fired. And these guys actually spawned in with 40,000 men. And that is just a little bit insane, especially if we uh, consider that, like, the most troops any nation has at the moment is, like... I mean, Aquitaine still shows at 40,000, but yeah, like, the next one would be Persia, 26,000, a Holy Rem Roman Empire with, like, 20,000. Those are the largest realms, and Aquitaine had, like, just double of that. So, uh, I, I, I scaled this down a little bit, and uh, so, hopefully that, yeah, that, that won't create these very ginormous armies anymore. Um, but I do want to keep it powerful, because I want this to be, like, I want it to be an actual, like, a problem, right, that you need to deal with. But yeah, anyway, that's that uh, thing, but I've also, I looked around the map, and I've seen, checking out my pacts here, that we have a pact with the Petty King of Iceland, because of cultural bonds. This is really cool, I'm not sure if this, like, how this works, uh, I guess because we're both Norwegian, still kind of odd, I've never seen this before. Uh, either way, uh, that uh, made me, you know, actually check him out, and I've realized that we can actually offer him vassalization he would agree and so i'm going to send that request and i'm going to do the same thing for this chief here chief ostman of jemtland he's also norwegian he's also catholic and he would also like to become our vassal so i think why not you know it, it's it's expanding our influence and as an ambitious ruler especially i i don't see why we we wouldn't want that so uh so we're going to get some more vassals and then yeah there's a couple other things i wanted to do um, right, I want to make a change to our laws here. So the royal laws of Norway, we can increase centralization, which is something I might want to do. But for now, I want to be able to revoke titles. We currently have a support on the council. We've got three supporters, three people undecided. But with our own vote, that should be enough. So Tosdick, Magnus, and our court chaplain are for it. The others are undecided, it seems. So that's fine. Um, yeah, start the vote. And what else? Right, now I'm gonna I'm going to remove Tosdick. Not right now, I'm gonna let him vote first, but then I wanna actually replace him with our with our good friend, Ogier, the Dane, who is uh who's now scarred. Uh, his wound has healed, which is great news. He's he still has the gout, but uh, I hope that he'll be able to uh, recover from that at some point. We'll have to see. But he definitely is a much better um marshal, and so I want him to replace Tosdick here. Other than that, we I'm thinking about using our papal influence sort of thing to excommunicate Godwin of Essex here because I want to imprison him, I want to revoke the Duchy of Essex from him. In fact, let me quickly check. Can I also... I can request a claim. That would not be granted, however. That's unfortunate. Pope Leo's opinion of Duke Godwin. So if we excommunicate him, maybe that will be more... Yeah, okay. Well, we'll see if this uh, revocation law goes through first before I do something else. And, um, okay, we've got our first vassal, du uh, Chief Ostmund, okay? And Iceland is now formally under our control as well. So, very nice. We've just expanded significantly without really having to do anything. Um, that is, that's always the best way to expand. Okay. Yeah, so let's move on. Let's get our troops home, please. I'm not sure how many of these event spawn troops have survived. Probably not too many. F actually, 5,000. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now, they're still going to take attrition here, which sucks. But, oh well. Okay, so the Lords of Norway have accepted title revocation law. Very good. So I should be able to revoke your... 
Yeah, Duchy of Essex. Unfortunately, I don't have a claim. So what if I request a claim now? That doesn't work. What if I request excommunication? Okay, so basically my reasoning here is this dude is ambitious. He's very upset. He's got claims on a lot of our lands and he holds Essex as well as, you know, the Duchy here. And I want to have that myself. And so that's why I want him. I just need him to be gone. And House Godwin is actually very powerful. So, uh, you know, they have uh, three duchies as well as one county under their control. So they kind of need to be dealt with. And then we also need to deal with these raiders. Okay. Muslim raiders that showing up. Okay, that's very upsetting. Maybe I can raise a defense here. No, I can't. I think I have already raised these men. Right. All right, well, that sucks. Okay, other than that, let me replace this marshal with our good friend now. There you go. That works much better. I wonder if you're pissed off about this. You are, actually. Yeah. Okay. But we still have a decent enough opinion. Um, so that's all good. That's all good. Okay, several titles can be created. I don't think I need to do this right now. People are currently not voting for us or for our brother for the Kingdom of England. So that's problematic. I want to change the succession there. But for now, I can go for... Extra legalism. Tolerance. I think legalism might be what we want to go for. There you go. Extra laws. All right. Very good. So the vile excesses of Duke Godwin can no longer be tolerated. We agree that he should be denied communion and be excommunicated. Well, that's great news. So I should be able to... Oh my goodness. I can imprison so many people. Duke Edwin of Mercia. Also an ambitious man. Very, very powerful Duke of Lancaster and Mercia. And we've got his brother sort of under control with the marriage. Um, he He's also ambitious, but he can't really do anything. But yeah, his brother is uh, is a problem. So him being imprisoned might be a good idea. Duke Magnus of East Anglia can be imprisoned. Why? He acted dishonorably towards us. And then Duke Godwin can be excommunicated as well. We only have a 20% chance. So let me see if I can send you local arrest chance pl plus 20%. Okay, we'll start with... The Duke of Essex. Uh, this is likely going to cause a big uprising if I fail here. Let me see what are the chances. 20%? Okay, that should actually increase. Let's maybe wait for our troops to arrive home before we do this. And Theodolf Sterken has had the Finger of St. John added to his treasury. All good for you. Congratulations. Okay, those are the effects of artifacts. They're shown down here. I see. What I dislike is that he's not getting any bonus for winning that tournament. Well, well coming in third. Uh, that would have been really cool to see. But oh well. Okay, you guys... Are you actually, like, taking attrition? Oh, yeah, you are. It's not a lot. But it is enough to drive me... Uh, nuts. <laughs> okay, Edmund of Kent has requested a lower rank vassal should serve him. Hmm. What do you... Who do you require? Bishopric of Canterbury. Um, okay, I could see that. I could, Im hmm, impress him with weight promises. Huh. Or having a favor from him. That, maybe a favor from him would be useful. Actually, you know what, I'll take the favor. And with that favor, what's this now? Uh, loyal servants such as I surely deserve some recognition and rewards from time to time. It's widely known that you hold huge lands and many titles. County of Romsdal. What? Okay, that is definitely... We're not going to give that to him. He's very ambitious, so we got to keep an eye on him. In fact, you're lucky if I'm not imprisoning you right now. Yeah, I will imprison you. We could actually go for non-aggression. In fact, he doesn't want that. Hmm. We can also request a claim... Oh, there's so many cool things we can do with the Pope on our side. But, but hold on. We're going to go for another tournament as well. Um, But no, there was something else I wanted to do. Hold on, hold on. What did I just want to do? You are the one excommunicated, right? Yes. So I can... I can actually just revoke... Oh, no, no, hold on. I need to imprison you first. Okay, 36% chance. Um... Damn, I forgot what it was that I wanted to do. Shit. I was just... Oh, man. Alzheimer's. 
And this is actually really bad. <laughs> I just don't... I completely forgot what it was that I wanted to do. It was like some great plan I had. Uh, okay. Um, we've got the levees raised. We can go into hiding. There are known plots. Kill Olaf. Oh, it's a half-sister. And we've got Morka and Magnus, as well as Ostwind. Could you, like, not be in this plot anymore? Thank you. You, Morka, could you, like, stop this as well? No. It says no. That's so weird. We're gonna say it anyways. And Duke of East Anglia. He says maybe. Okay, so these people need to be imprisoned. We need to deal with this. Um... Fabricate a claim on a duchy. Ah, oh, man. If only I knew what I wa wanted to do. I think I wanted to raise my fleets. Okay, let's do that for now. <laughs> and... Maybe that's a... It's quite too many, maybe? Yeah, but I think we need to get our ships here to Norway. In fact, actually, I believe that our Norwegian fleet is going to be enough for this. Uh, I want to get my, my event spawn troops, my retinue, back back to England so we can deal with these uh, uh, rebels, with these traitors. Because, yeah, we need to centralize our realm a little bit. We need to deal with these uh, uppity vassals. Oh, man. I only knew what, what I wanted to do. Shit. Oh, well. Alright, so, you guys get together. And I will stand down. No special event troops will be stand down. Okay, so we basically just have Retinues, event spawn troops. None of my men are raised. Right? Yeah, we only have ships raised. Good. Okay, so we'll wait for... Actually, this is enough. The fleet is already big enough. We can transport you safely across and... Uh, yeah, to Essex, actually. And that's where we'll stop. Okay, these ships can stand down. And this is, this bothers me so much that I don't know what I wanted to do. Oh, right. Now I remember. Finally. Okay, so I got this favor from the Duke of Kent. Holy shit. Um, and I wanted to see if I can assign a guardian to his child. Um, no opinion. So, okay, so I thought I could use a favor on that. Because then I would have a hostage. But apparently, um, that's not possible call in succession support call in favor that you edmund owes you. oh interesting mm, by calling favor he will vote as you do in the succession for 120 months that's 10 years and uh, that sounds really good that's so i love that that's actually really useful because the inheritance in england right now because the duke of kent is voting for a cousin uh, magnus has not been uh being the is not the heir. Okay, this would actually be really cool. Let's do this. Call in uh, succession support, and we'll see what he says. Uh, he agreed apparently. So Magnus is the heir to England as well as Norway. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. I love that because that actually makes it worthwhile to uh, to get a favor from vassals. Very nice. Okay, so we've landed our troops here, and I think we can now safely imprison the excommunicated uh, Duke Godwin of Essex. That's the plan. There we go. He's safely locked away in our dungeons. Now I wonder if I can just revoke the Duchy of Essex. I could. We don't have a claim. So let's request a claim. Um, He is not going to accept because he likes him too much. Alright, but still, the Duke of Essex is imprisoned. Um, So that's one less person that we need to... Uh, be afraid of. Let me appoint some commanders here. I'll have you on the flank. Um, I'll probably lead the center, and then we'll have Duke of Orkney here. I don't really trust Morkar right now. Who else can we imprison next? Edwin of Mercia. Now, people will be against this. No particular opinion. Glory Hound. Do not want you to weaken a powerful vassal. I see. Um, my cousin is an advisor. Oh, he's an advisor? Can I, can I change that? Hmm. 
And that's upsetting. He's so like he likes me so much, but he's a glory hound. I want him to be loyal. We have only two loyal people here. A spy master. Can someone else be replaced? Maybe if I bring Magnus onto the council, he'd be loyal, right? Oh, he's what's happened to his wife? He was betrothed. He no longer is betrothed to that Byzantine princess. Well, that's not good. Was it wasn't it Theodora? It was. Arrange a betrothal. Well, that sucks. So they must have broken it. I don't know who did. But, uh, okay. Well, that's that. Anyway, Magnus, um, let me, let me see. I want to know if I give, if I, wait, you're a counselor? Oh, you're already my counselor, I see. And you're not, you're a glory hound as well? Well, that sucks. Okay, who else can I imprison? Uh, Duke Magnus East, East Anglia, that people would support. His heir is already in our prison. 33%. I think he should be imprisoned as well. All of the House Godwin will be imprisoned here. Actually, no, hold on. Let's wait for our marshal so we can send him again. That's February. Okay, that's what we'll do. And Bath has fallen. Uh, we should probably deal with this. So let's move against them. The peasants of Middlesex are quite far apart and spread out. Your spy master suggests investing provincial messenger system. Absolutely. And uh, let's make sure that we crush these raiders. Okay, we caught them. Very good. Make sure that they will uh, leave all the spoils here. I try to breathe deeply, but catching my breath in the freezing weather is difficult. Look, it's the king himself! Someone shouts. I turn, only to find myself overrun by a dozen of Sheikh Quasim's pompous soldiers. I don't think so. I'll do a Commander Mazian myself. Um, okay. Uh, wow. So, he's got a lot more personal combat skill than we do. Oh, no. You chase down Mazian for a personal duel on the battlefield. This option is available because you're a worse dueler than Mazian. Now, we're not brave. But if I do this, we gain one eye severely injured. He injured me in battle. Are we going to fight him? I, we're not brave. Um. Ah, oh, man. But we already killed someone. Oh, that's just hurled. Ah, oh, shit. I don't know. Um, no, I don't think... We're gonna lose an eye? Oh, that sucks. <sighs> but if we, if we fight him, we will probably die. I really would love to do this, but we have absolutely no personal combat skill. Um... I think, no, we're not going to do this. That, that would be foolish. And we're a patient man. I don't see this happening. Alright, so there's that. Now that actually lowers our personal combat skill even more. One-eyed minus ten, severely injured. We're not going to be fighting anymore. Ah, that sucks. But look at this guy. We might actually be now known as all of one-eye. That could happen. Ah, oh, that sucks. We can also marry. Uh, let's maybe wait for uh, the end of this battle here. There we go. Alright, and Prince Magnus already very fond of me. Perhaps I should focus my time and resources to sway somebody else. Uh, sure. I mean, yes, he does like us quite a bit. Maybe we'll... Yeah, we'll, we'll deal with someone else instead. Um, but for now, okay, so we've been successful. But that was... You know, it wasn't ideal. I can tell you that much. Wait, why are you not leading men? Pretty sure I have assigned you to this position. Hmm. Anyway. Alright, we're gonna go back to Suffolk. And we'll marry our betrothed. For now. She has sympathy for the Muslims. That's not great. Count Swain of Bergen, who said, provided me with proof that Prince Magnus has been viciously slandering me. How should I use this information? Now, there have been some vicious rumors about him. And, uh, I... I don't know if I trust this man. I apparently really do not like him at all. He's member of the increased power... Council power faction. I like my brother but more. I think... Hmm. I'll keep this information to myself. Or will I denounce... I'm not going to denounce him though. Can't, I'm not... Alright. Threaten him. I'll just keep this information to myself. We'll see. 
what Magnus does, but I, I, I don't really trust that. Anyway, our wife has arrived, it's everyone's concern, we'll get some money for it, and uh, we, are, yeah, we now have William as our father-in-law. He's a bit insane now, but that's okay. Hopefully his daughter will give us many great sons. She's sturdy, so, you know, she, she probably has, uh, she has got a nice, I'm not sure where I'm going with this, but <laughs> I'm sure she's, uh, very capable of, uh, bearing children. That's what I wanted to say. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Today's video was brought to you by my glorious supporters over at Patreon. And right now, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And before you leave, I'd love to have you subscribed so you can stay updated on all the new releases.